Good morning, fam. Today is Monday morning. We're gonna go get some babo for my mother-in-law. She's not feeling that well since yesterday morning. We just delivered the babo to uh, my mother-in-law. Now we're gonna go get uh, something to eat. I've never had issue at the babo place before, like recording, but there was this one guy. Bruh. Saw me recording and he got up real quick. Like, I had to turn off the camera because I felt like he was gonna attack the camera, so. Yeah. Anyways, I just told him like I was recording my wife. Heading to get some street food. To the right is the school Sapan went to. And so she said she would eat here in the morning. Okay. Sapan, she went to the market and she got some black chow. And pretty annoyed right now. Reflecting on the unsettling events that had unfolded just moments before, earlier that evening around 9 p.m., Sapan and I had walked to the local 7 Eleven. On our way, a sudden threat emerged. A motorcycle veered dangerously close. Been editing film like all day. You want to eat here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna try out this place. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Good. Pork and eggs, some cucumbers, and a good fish sauce. Uh, let's give this a try. Tip number three. Got almond. Put in the fish sauce with cucumber, with spiciness. Aunt says she usually eat here after school. So, here we go. Before school. I like eating the whole egg. It's really good. Oh. We'll put down because see on the camera. How much is it for a plate? So most places it comes with uh, soup. Oh, the broth is so good. Eat, like the rice plate, you want something like wet to uh, so your throat's not that dry. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So we just uh, left from here behind me. <clears throat> it was pretty busy, about eight people. We're gonna go to the main road in front of me to the right, it's the school Sapan went to. And so she said she would eat here in the morning that we just ate at and then, yeah, go to school. So this is school right here. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Yeah. yeah, walk over here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're one more block. This one, another one, so two more blocks. Oh, we did 5,100 steps. So we had to circle back to get some. What you said, they make it fresh in the morning? It's good. It's like it's like that green bean dessert we had. Yeah, try it. It's like uh, so there's a senior guy. He's he he sells green bean and red bean for like 20, 30 years. 
and it's really good and it's similar to this pretty much but it's like it's a hundred percent green bean you can taste how legitimate it is yeah it's just pure delicious sweet it's nothing like they put any artificial sugar or anything like that no it's just naturally sweet good hey on Got it. So this is Stop the on. first time they drink this one? Yeah, yeah, my drink? first time. My first time having this. It's so hard to record in this area, like both of us in the camera, because there's always someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna try some uh, Bang Chow. No? What is that though? Is that like churro? Oh, I, I smell it like... I thought it was churro. Now you can finish it. You want no pao? No? Yeah, I think I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Which one is different? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Just vegetables? Yeah, let's try that one. How much was it? 25 cents. 25 cents? So, one real. So, I need one real. This is 25 cents. Oh. In uh, America, this is a dollar seventy-five cents, but it's just a regular kind. It has nothing green inside, and the flavor is a lot different. Um, here you go, babe. From the what? From the lab, John. What are you doing? Different. We 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 chewing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slug thai, whatever that is. Pretty good. <clears throat> I like it. Not greasy, perfectly cooked. One quiet evening, my wife Sapon and I were heading to 7-Eleven around 9 p.m. Everything seemed normal until a motorcycle out of nowhere charged right towards me. Here's where things get interesting. I managed to jump to safety behind the blue wagon you see here, just in the nick of time. So originally I was standing on the red circle, as you see in this clip, and then about the very last second, they were pretty close to me, I dodged to this green square. And then, yeah, they started to slow down then. And then Sapan, she was at the very bottom left pink square and then she dodged to the upper left pink square and she reacted just like i did like it was just instinctual like something wasn't up like something wasn't right so that's how we reacted these guys weren't just reckless they were looking for trouble after i dodged them they started to slow down pretty much scouting this looking for their next victim after this night happened I spent many hours reviewing the footage, trying to trace where these guys came from. They appeared like ghosts, no signs of where they came from or where they were heading, but I was determined to find out. After a deep dive into the footage and a month of hitting dead ends, I finally pieced it together. I found where they hanged out. It was pretty much this dark area on the street that has no light. I walked by this area pretty often, about four times a week. And you cannot even see their faces if you're eight feet away from them. So this particular area was 
perfect for staying under the radar. So it was at this blurry spot here, that's the lurking in the shadows. Everything looked different at night. Here's the real kicker. Just seconds after they missed us, you can see them sizing up another potential victim, an older gentleman. Normal drivers do not drive like this. They don't creep along the right side of the road as you can see here and scanning pedestrians. So you may ask why share this video? Because awareness is key. I'm here to remind you that dangers like this exist everywhere for anyone. I was lucky but it was a close call. A reminder of the thin line between a normal night out and a potentially dangerous situation. I want this to be a lesson to all of us. Watch for the signs, stay vigilant, and always be aware of your surroundings. I would love to hear your thoughts of any experience you might have had. Drop a comment below. Until next time, stay safe out there.